Hi everyone, it's Yvonne Ankerman and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some cups, uh, coffee cups, tea cups. I've got a various sorts that I've done in the past, but today we're just going to be doing these um, small, small little single hand cups or mugs if you like. And I have done a bit of a sketch first in pencil because as you can imagine, cups are sometimes a, a little bit complicated, especially the handles. And um, I don't always get them right either, but therefore I have decided to carry on practicing and practicing until we get a, a pretty sort of acceptable shape, if you like. So I've done uh, the sketches of my various mugs and coffee cups uh, in pencil first. And I have uh, now come in with uh, a fountain pen. And this fountain pen is called a Twisby Go. It's, it's really great. It actually uh, it, it sucks up the ink with like a spiral. And it's, it's really a very unique type of pen. And I've got the 1.5 and the medium size. And it's, it's really great to do some of the sketching with uh, with a fountain pen rather than a felt tip pen. It is waterproof ink that I've used and I'm using my little art toolkit palette to put in the first color. So I've used a lemon yellow and then mixed a bit of a purple for the shadow colors. They opposite each other on the color wheels so it is something that uh, basically complementary colors and they, they go well together. And just Putting a rough idea of the pattern that I had on the mugs, uh, on the um, on the original mugs, on my sketch, just to give it some variety. And I will have to look for some teacups with sauces, which maybe I can try on another time. But I actually don't possess any, so I'm very much a coffee mug type of person. And whether they're big or small, or espresso or cappuccino, it doesn't really matter. And two of these mugs you'll see have got penguins on. They're my favorite penguin mugs that I've collected in uh, while I was down in Antarctica, where I work as expedition artist on a ship. And uh, they've just sort of become my favorite mugs that I take down to the studio and have a lot of fun with. So the gray color that I've mixed here is ultramarine blue with a bit of burnt sienna. And that gives a really nice gray for the shadow shadow areas. The hint of red that's in the little Dutch design on this cup just adds some sparkle as well as the yellow at the top. But I must say I feel that the handle on the top yellow one is a little bit too small for that particular cup. So I wasn't 100% happy with that. And here is my penguin mug that I'm busy with at the moment at uh, just adding the little details with a much darker uh, indigo that I've also mixed with burnt sienna so it gives a really nice dark and just putting a few accents on here and there and as you can see the sketch is pretty rough lines aren't a hundred percent and that's what's the nice thing about a little sketchbook you know no one really cares how it comes up, it's just very good practice. And the more you do, the better it comes, the, the better it comes out. So a bit of a shadow at the bottom just to give them something to sit on. And as you guys will know by now, I love my splattering. So the end product, here it is, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. And please subscribe if you have. Till next time.